Hi, everybody. Today, I was asked what the difference is between the image cropper and the Zoom area cropper package that Offroad Code made last week and released. And I understand a bit of confusion because uh, there are differences between them, but it's not necessarily easy to see right off the bat. So I thought I'd go through them in a video because that's kind of easier to explain over text as to how they work. So first off, the image cropper is a data type that you can apply to two different places, either media or content. When you set up the data type, you set up crops on it. And those crops can be the same dimensions or different dimensions, but you have a specific amount of crops that you set up when you set the data type up. I've done some examples here in this case. So when you, if you want to have multiple crops of the same dimensions, say all medium square 500 by 500 pixels, then you have to set up the amount of crops that you want on the image cropper when you're setting up the data type and the user gets that many crops on that image, or you have to go add more in the data type settings every time you want to allow them to have more or less crops, plus it then gets enforced in the code how many you're using. It ha it's very useful, but the amount of flexibility that a user might want for the amount of crops that they have on an image isn't necessarily there. The way the Zoom Area Cropper works differently is it has dimensions set on it. And this is a limitation in one way too, because it doesn't have the ability to have different dimensions for each of the different crops, but it's set up so that you set your dimensions initially and then you have as many or as little crops as you want that are specifically attached to the dimensions that you have set up. There's another difference between the image cropper and the zoom area cropper, and that's how it's applied to an image. You can use the image cropper itself in two different ways. You can either put the data type on an image and then you get the crops that you've set up, I mean, these ones close up a long view, maybe we'll get like multiple parts of that in there, and then a medium square. And then when you save the image, you have access to these three crops anywhere that you choose the image with the media picker to be used across the site. That's it. You don't get variations on what crops you want on what page, you get the ones that you set on the image globally, and that's all you have. If you want to have different crops on different pages using the image cropper, then of course you have to apply it to a piece of content. But if you put the image cropper on a piece of content, it gives you an upload instead of a media picker. And anytime that you use the upload, it pops up a uh, browser file or a browser viewer for um, internet or for uh, Windows Explorer so that you can pull an image off your desktop and upload it. And then it gives you the crops that are attached to that image that are on that data type. So if I want to zoom in on Pete's head, in this case, for my medium image, but on a different page, I wanna zoom in on Steve's head for my medium image, then that means that I have to upload this image multiple times. So it's on the server in multiple cases, and it has a different instance on every page because you can't pick it with the media cropper or the media picker. So the way the zoom area cropper works, we'll just keep peek here. The way the zoom area cropper works is instead of an upload, you get to select an image. And I'm using this magic rock uh, image I took in England as my example. And then once you've uploaded the image, you have this plus button and it allows you to add crops because we set our crops to be 200 by 200 pixels in our initial data, data type creation, that's what the dimensions are going to be for any crops picked on this image, but you can pick as many or as few as you want. So if we select one, drag the focal point over here, then we can go preview our crop, maybe shrink the size of it down a little bit. Hmm. There we go, that kind of puts it nice in the middle and we'll name this one so that you can see that. And if I want another crop, I can add another one. 
and again, go in and preview it and then resize it to fit inside the dimensions that I want to return on the front. And I can add as few of these or as little of these as I want. So I have these on a uh, on an image by image basis, but it's attached to the content. So if I click save and publish this, this exists on this page with these crops. But if I go back to media, then I still have the original crops from the image cropper that I can use globally. And this image is still returned as I publish content on the Zoom area cropper. So if you want to get access to this media with all of the crops that are attached to it with the image cropper, you still can. You can get everything that the image cropper has already attached to the media because we return you the crops that you use from the Zoom area cropper and the I published uh, content for the media. So you really have access to everything. It's kind of like a dual bonus there. So that's the basic difference between how the image cropper that's built into Umbraco works and how the Zoom area cropper works. If you have any questions, definitely leave us some comments or send a tweet at Offroad Code, and we'll be happy to answer them for you.